So it's Labor Day weekend, uh, the Saturday of uh, Labor Day weekend, and uh, yeah, everybody else is uh, off doing other things. Uh, Patricia's got an art show in Fenland Falls, um, which for those of you who don't know where that is, it's uh, north of Toronto um, and east. Um, Rachel is off visiting her sister and uh, our grandchildren and uh, I'm here and uh, I'm going to be doing some harvesting. Uh, potatoes and onions primarily. Uh, we just had a very brief uh, shower but uh, the rest of the weekend looks to be quite hot in the 30s uh, Celsius and uh, um, hopefully I can get uh, some work done before uh, we end up with a lot of things. But I thought that since we haven't been doing a lot of uh, video recording, um, vlogging, um, I would uh, take you around the garden to show you what it looks like right now. Um, so here's a, a row of flowers primarily. So uh, there's some dill on the end here. That's what this material is. And uh, then we've got uh, sunflowers and mix of zinnias and a variety of other things and then this row is carrots and we've been harvesting the, the carrots and so have some other critters so for instance in this particular location you can see that we've got we've been visited by some some rabbits they've decided that they want to uh, partake of our bounty. Carrots are not bad shape for this year. Um, we've got some more here. Oh look, rabbits have been here too. And then there's interspersed. We've got some um, voluntary tomatoes, uh, cherry tomatoes, more of the carrots, and more of the flowers on the far end. Um, in this row we had uh, cabbages. We've harvested a couple of cabbages that were quite large. Uh, this one's been attacked quite nicely by uh, some uh, cabbage butterfly beetles or sorry larva and here we've got white cabbage, red cabbage. The red cabbage doesn't look so good. Not such big heads on them few smaller heads and then we've got broccoli lots and lots of broccoli or sorry uh, uh, kale um, and we've been eating from the kale as you can see there's smaller uh, pieces here and then we've got the onions so here are the white onions or yellow onions I'm not sure exactly which uh, varieties uh, Trisha put in um, interspersed with all kinds of um, Voluntary tomatoes and weeds, etc. Yeah, it's late uh, harvest or late in in uh, the summer, and as a consequence, the weeds have gotten a little away from us, particularly when we were uh, in Europe. Um, these are red uh, onions, red tomatoes, yeah, right? Um, and uh, they uh, go until about here or so. I don't see lots and lots of onions. Oh, there's one there. And there's a couple there. Um, we've already removed, so where the fork is sitting, we've already removed the uh, nuflok. Um, yeah, I can't remember the, the uh, English name for it. Oh, garlic. There we are. Um, and uh, I'm just going to give these carrots that were visited by the rabbits to the chickens and uh, we'll be moving the chickens in the next day or so probably into this space here because there's uh, yeah they're into in, into carrots they've always liked the greens um, as you can see, the, the ground is very much assisted by them, so it changes from very rough vegetation to the grasses that you're seeing there, 
and uh, even there, which is last week's paddock, got to repair the water line. One of the uh, quick connects is broken, and I have to replace it. So I just remind myself that I need to do that. All right. Um, so the beans I went through um, earlier this week. And uh, there's still some purple beans coming. Uh, there's a really fat one. Um, some, some smaller ones as well. But you can see that there's still blooms on these purple beans. There's some blooms right there. And uh, we'll be able to harvest some more purple beans. These are the ones that turn green as soon as they get into hot water. So there's a couple quite nice ones there. Um, the green beans... I've gone through three times and I suspect that there's very little left. Um, so we'll probably be pulling the plants out when we go through them again. Um, that'll probably be early next week, maybe on Monday, uh, holiday Monday. And uh, yeah, so that'll be the end of the green beans. There's a nice one there, some nice ones here. Um, and then there's the potatoes. So you can see the potatoes interspersed with <laughs> some fairly large weeds, etc. Uh, but the weeds, or sorry, the potatoes have been um, progressing quite nicely. So when they, the plants start to dry off, that's when you can actually uh, remove them. And uh, we can go from there. Um, in the next row... The idea was, so these, this was a, uh, a couple of rhubarb plants, and for some reason or other they have not done very well. And then in the next row, we're, the idea was to actually take um, sunflowers, the, the large, large plants that you see here, and they're, they're progressing quite nicely. These ones are about at the stage where you can actually harvest them. They're not easy to get off. And uh, once you remove this outer coating, that's where the sunflower seeds are sitting underneath. And then we can feed them to birds and to our chickens, etc. Primarily interested in the chickens. Anyways, underneath the sunflowers, we were supposed to be growing Squash. So you can see a little bit of squash plant there, the vines running across. There's a uh, pumpkin. There's a squash there, an acorn squash it looks like. But we've got very little in terms of fruit. There's another acorn squash there. So there's three rows of these, and I, beyond those two that I just saw, I don't see much of anything. Big disappointment. Oh, there's another one. So it could be the seeds that we're using, or the growing conditions this summer just were not particularly good. Those vines didn't even actually do much there. Let's go see what the zucchinis are doing. Looks like they're on their last legs. There's a few zucchinis there. <laughs> Little small, small ones yet. There's a larger one. That's nice. I'm going to leave that for the time being. more. Here's another one coming there. But I don't see much else. Here's another squash plant that's decided that's going to go way over there. But I don't see much in the way of much fruit. Anyways, we will uh, check that out a little bit later when uh, Oh, here's a, a plant as well that's decided to grow up into the uh, 
chicken uh, fence. Okay, I'm going to go over to the hoop house. And again, we could afford to get the chickens in here. They would do some wonders in cleaning this stuff up. May not happen this year though. All right, so into the hoop house itself. And here we see the cucumbers are about finished for the year. So there's some kind of melon, squash, some kind or other. There's some cucumbers still hanging around there. If I get a chance, I will start picking the cucumbers down today because they are not doing much of anything anymore. And I don't know if you can see them, but there are lots and lots of um, white flies that are infesting these uh, plants. And here are tomatoes. So tomatoes have been doing very, very well. And I'll, we'll probably pick some more tomatoes a little bit later in the uh, in the weekend we're going along so these ones have been producing very very knit well and then this row is a little bit later because it's a little bit shaded but you can see that the tomatoes are starting to come as well so there's a number down there and there's lots and lots of green ones but we have to wait for them to ripen up yet on the outside, we have uh, peppers over here, and you can see, hopefully, that there are quite a number of green peppers, and then some of the peppers are starting to turn, so these are actually reds, and there's another one there. They're starting to get to that point where they're, I don't know if you can see it down there, there's another one that I can visibly see but we'll have lots and lots of peppers this this year uh, which is one of the reasons why we decided to put the uh, hoop house up and uh, grow these in here so we've had an extended growing season it looks like it's done its job okay so uh, that's a little bit of a tour of uh, this part of the garden anyways um, there's still more of the food forest that we're starting to build uh, over time and uh, we'll give you a uh, more in-depth kind of uh, overview of those materials at some other point in time. Um, I'm going to get started in terms of uh, pulling the potatoes out and uh, see how far I can get. I'll bring you along for the ride because I've got another camera that I can set up. Um, Anyways, so uh, I'll try to post this as soon as possible and uh, uh, let you in on uh, whatever else is going on here. Thank you, and we'll talk to you very, very shortly.